Hello, Slicey Dicers. We are live. Precisely 8 o'clock, as I said. We're going to wait a few minutes for some people to jump on here before we really start going. Da, 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 da. I didn't queue up the music to play this time. So, yeah, we got a couple coming on now. Cool. Welcome, everyone. Let me pull up on my own YouTube channel here so that I can see what your chat is. Hello, everybody. Uh, let's get the uh, chatty chat chat going. Make sure my computer's mooted. And there we go. Now I can, now I can see your chat. Cool. Glad you guys could all make it on. Blade Banner, Wood Tactical, Matt Smansky, RMFN, some of you trying to keep up here. Thank you guys very much for coming on. We got, wow, 14 on already. Let's just get things going. First of all, welcome to the fifth episode of, fifth, five, of Bruise and Blades. I'm going to drink a beer. We're going to talk about some knives. It's going to be a good time. I got a few things I want to get through, and then uh, we'll do some Q&A and just some chatty chat. So, first of all, sp shout out to our sponsors, Weeha. We're going to do a trivia question here shortly where you can win uh, one of these sets of these little... Uh, T-handle tools. There's a 6, 8, and 10 Torx in here. Pretty much what you need most of. Yeah, I know it said 4th in the description, but... Uh, oh, it does say 4th for the... Eh, whatever. I cut and pasted it wrong. I'll edit that later. I also said 4 p.m. because I just have 4 in my brain. I don't know why. But, uh, anywho. Maybe it is the 4th. I don't know. Maybe I was right the first time. It's been a long day, guys. I've been driving my kids around all day and stuff. Anywho, you can win this with a trivia question we'll have coming up very, very shortly. Uh, also, look at our new logo. I made that. I, uh, I put out a thing asking some people to come up with some logos. Uh, they gave, gave me some cool ones, but not stuff that I really wanted. They all had knives in them, and I didn't want a knife in it, because if a knife looks like a particular knife, somebody goes, oh, that looks like a whatever, and I don't like that brand, and they get upset. So uh, I made that. I don't know if that's going to be the, the logo I keep, but it's the one I have for right now. I kind of like it. I think it looks all right. It'll look cool on the eventual stickers and t-shirts and all that stuff but anyway uh do oh someone's asking uh, i'm gonna, gonna do a whole lot of questions still just smoke from now but somebody's asking do i use the mac Torx? i don't know the mac torques bits uh, bits but the weha ones are great they're very very good awesome company so happy that they are sponsoring us first of all i want to say if you're watching this this probably is not a concern to you because you are probably subscribing to get notifications because you knew i was live but there has been another YouTube glitch where a lot of people have dropped off the subscribers or their bell stopped working. I know Birdshot mentioned it, and I've noticed it also. Uh, I think it's also in part due to uh, this new YouTube policy about no gun channels anymore. They're really coming down hard on the gun channels. And obviously, even though I don't do any gun, gun content on my channel, I think that... Um, there is some overlap there, and I know some people have deleted their YouTube accounts in protest to that. So, um, I, I'm not sure what happened, but yeah, I, I lost like 20 or 30 subscribers and then gained a bunch back, but uh, it's it's been weird. So just, if you're not sure if you're subscribed, if you're watching this later on and you didn't get the notification that we were live, make sure that you subscribe again and you have the, the bell on. It's just another weird YouTube glitchy thing that's happening, but anywho... That's just how it goes. Uh, first of all, let's get the trivia question out of the way right away. I'm going to say it now. I'll say it again multiple times. This is one that's going to require you to go back and watch a video. Uh, I always try to make sure that any of the trivia questions I ask, that there is content in in my uh, in my video, in, in a video that I've done before. So yesterday I published the unboxing of this very sweet ZT0609. We'll talk about that more shortly. But the trivia question is, what was the phrase on my box that I was kind of annoyed by? Zero Tolerance has a tendency to put these really over-the-top kind of uh, bro -y phrases on their boxes. What was the phrase that was on mine that I, ugh, about, that I, was, I didn't think was cool? So check that out. Go back and watch that video. What, what, what did Zero Tolerance put on my box to annoy me? That's the trivia question. So you can go back and check out that video from yesterday. Do not reply in the comments. 
the, the live comments. Reply after the video is over. If you put it in the live comments, A, everybody knows. B, it's hard for me to use the randomizer to choose you. So don't, uh, don't reply in the live comments. Wait till the video is over and reply then. All right. Next topic I want to get to. I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Um, I have a... I have a, a, a little request for help from you guys. It's a very minor little thing, but you guys know I reviewed the Tangram Santa Fe, and I, I like it. I love it. It's a great knife, 30 bucks. They're awesome. They have a new model out called the uh, Pinkerton Progression. I really want to review that, but they're only available on Amazon, and Amazon has decided that it's illegal to ship it to me, and they refuse to. And I'm quite annoyed by this. It is not illegal in my city. It is not illegal in my state. It's under three and a half inches. Yes, the downtown city of Rochester has a limit for three inches for concealed carry, but I consulted the RPD before I started this channel. They said, somebody's saying try eBay. I looked, I couldn't find it. Um, uh, don't reply with the answer in the thing, guys. Don't reply in the live with the answer. Wait till it's over with. Um... I'm going to delete that really quick. Sorry, Matt. Don't do that. Um, okay, but yes, anywho, uh, they do have a law for three inches for concealed carry, but I talked to the the um, uh, to RPD. If your pocket clip's sticking out, it, it's not concealed carry. So it's totally, perfectly legal to carry a three and a half inch knife in downtown Rochester if the pocket clip's sticking out. It's completely legal. I went back and forth last night with Amazon and Tangram, both emailing back and forth on a chat thing with Amazon. They were probably wondering why I was up at one o'clock in the morning arguing about a $40 knife, but I was watching Formula One. I had nothing else to do. So <laughs> so uh, they caught a guy up at 1 a.m. with nothing else to do. So I went back and forth, back and forth. They can't figure it out. Tangram says it's Amazon's fault. Amazon says it's Tangram's fault, but it's the only place I can get it. So it's in New York, Convex, uh, Rochester, New York. Uh, but... If someone wants to email me at slicydicey75 at gmail.com, I will pay you to buy me one of those and have it shipped to me because I really want to review it. I really, really do. Um, you can open it up and play with it for a minute before you send it back to me. You know, that's fine. But uh, I just, I got, I really want to get my hands on one somehow. I've got a couple comparisons I want to do with it. I love the Pinkerton designs. I love Tangram, and I, I think it would be a really cool knife that I really want to get. It only goes for, and I will send you the link to the exact one I want. I have it up here. What is it? Yeah, it's only 40 bucks. It's not like an expensive knife or anything. Nothing worth uh, flipping out about, but whatever. If anybody wants to email me at slicydicey75 at gmail.com, or if uh, Mr. Gearbear hops on here, I'm going to see him tomorrow. I may I may just have it shipped to him. He's in a suburb, and it, maybe it'll go through. I don't know. But anywho, there's that. If somebody wants to give me a hand with that, I'd appreciate it. On a, relater, on, a, on a uh, related note, there is a P.O. box now we have. I did get a P.O. box, and um, a big help you guys could give to this channel. I know a lot of you guys out there are huge knife uh, collector people, um, and if there's something you just want to see me review, I have a P.O. box. It's down in the description down below, uh, and you want to send me stuff, I got references. I'm not going anywhere. If you want to loan me something, that would be awesome. I didn't get a P.O. box because this is YouTube and I don't like putting my home address out there. But I do have a P.O. box now down below if you ever want to send me anything. I'd really appreciate it. Also, uh, but let me know ahead because I don't, I don't check that thing all the time. It's like, uh, it's like three miles away, which or two miles away, which to a guy who lives in the city might as well be on another planet. But <laughs> no, my wife drives by it to work all the time. But I just want to know that something's coming so she can check it. All right, uh, next thing. There's a Facebook page now. I just started it yesterday. I've not put it out to anyone. Facebook.com slash SliceyDicey75. By the way, if you ever can't find me on something, uh, put the 75 at the end because some people have Slicey Dicey taken and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, Javon, that's kind of the I mean, I'll pay someone beforehand. I don't want somebody to buy some buy me something and then count on me paying them back. I'll pay you beforehand. It's just, yeah, I got to get I, I want to get my hands on one somehow. So. Be cool. Send me an email, and then I'll talk to Mr. Gear Bear tomorrow when I'm at his house. Like I said, he lives in a suburb, so maybe I can get it shipped there. But anywho, yeah, check out the Facebook page, Slicey Dicey Seventy Five. 
Uh, I'm going to be doing some stuff on there, probably nothing exclusive, but I'll put up the videos and stuff. So if you spend more time on Facebook than you do on YouTube, it'd just be an easy way to, to get to that. All right. Uh, what do I want to talk about next? Let's talk about I am going to do some sale stuff. I put in the thing. I do have a little mini sale here. But first of all, let's talk about you guys. I've been flooded with questions about this beforehand, uh, you know, since I did the unboxing video. The full review isn't coming for a while. But yeah, you guys seem to be as enamored with this ZT0609 as I am. I am in love with this thing. I have found a couple flaws in it, minor, tiny little things that I'm uh, nothing fit and finish. Just a couple little things about the design that are kind of, yeah. But tiny little things overall this is definitely the best edc zt i have ever handled by a long shot um yeah i'll flip it give me give me a moment flip it flip it flip it that noise is just addicting it's just addicting the detent on it is fairly strong but it works really well it rockets out all the time and yeah you kind of got to push it past the detent ball a little bit because the detent is pretty strong but Flip it, flip it. Are you happy now? But yeah, and it's yeah, it's very thin behind the edge. I did measure that up. I can't remember what it was. I think uh, I put my calipers away, unfortunately, and I'll knock the camera on if I try and get them out. But uh, yeah, I think it was like twenty four thousandths or something like that. It was super, super, super thin. But um, yeah, the the handle does kind of remind you of a ripple, doesn't it? Yeah, but but prettier than a ripple. I think the ripples are hideous, and I think this looks pretty good. Um, I kind of wish this was a bit smoother but if it wasn't it wouldn't be as as grippy as it is so yeah i'm not gonna say it's perfect but it's definitely my favorite zt i've ever handled by a long shot it's really really cool i've only had it for what 36 hours now and it's been living in my pocket so uh it's it is fantastic and it is so freaking sharp it's just the sharpest sharp 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 thing i have I have ever held uh, out, out of the box you know i mean i've made stuff better yeah there is a little bit of jimping on it it's got some up here uh it's kind of a unique weird it's like angled towards you jimping it's not particularly sharp or anything i think they intend for you to more hold it like this or it's got that nice little thumb rest to move up on so have i handled 0770 cf i have actually and uh, i like this better this is just i like the size of this i just um for my particular uses I really, really like it. It's great. You will see a full review on that coming up later in the week. The next review you'll see is tomorrow morning is this little piece of beauty. Oh, this is a Leo. This is one of the very pricey ones. They range all over in prices. A uh, knife that has been made in France since like the 18 somethings. You'll see that tomorrow. Uh, I really like this. It is so pretty. It's just, I don't care if I ever cut a thing with it. Just to sit and look at it. Wow. Wow. It's great. And you know what? I'm thirsty now, so it's time to open a beer. I got one. I've never even had anything from this company before, so I know nothing about them. But they are Big Ditch Brewing Company from nearby Buffalo, New York. Which uh, I, I sometimes might classify Buffalo as a big ditch. I'm sorry, there's a rivalry between Rochester and Buffalo. That's just the way it's always going to be. But, uh. We will see it as a Saison, which is more of a spring-summer kind of beer, but hopefully we're getting close to that. So let's crack it open and see. Yes, there is a half-stop RMFN on the Leo, or La Rue, if you live near there, I guess, is how the locals say it. Oh, bump the camera. Earthquake! Fracking! There we go. Mmm, that is pretty tasty. I really do like that. I very much like Saison's. If you guys don't ever drink those, they are excellent. Yes, I'm drinking out of the can before somebody uh, gives me a hard time. I'm going to put a Rochester real beer koozie on a Buffalo made beer just to, just to spite Buffalo. That's how I feel about them. All right. Um, do you guys, you guys mind if I sell a couple things really quick? I have a couple little knives for sale. Um, nothing super exciting, but stuff that I just wanted to put out there. Um, because I want to get some more stuff. So every dime I sell selling knives, I almost always do put it back into more of them, especially since I started the channel. First up, this is on Blade Forums, but 
Um, yeah, I probably gave some motion sickness. Yeah, I have this weird, like, bendy tripod thing, monopod thing, and if I bump it, it goes springy and goes weird. I need to get a more rigid setup. That's what she said. But, uh, yeah, I'm selling my Kershaw Blur. You guys remember I did this as my Winter Soldier, and I still believe it's a great winter knife, but you know what? I just, I just never used it. I just didn't use it. It was, uh just sat in my EDC pack and I never used it. It does have an MXG gear deep pocket clip on it and I'll send it with the box of course and the original clip also. It uh, retails for 84 bucks. I think I have it on Blade Forms for 75 but 70 to you guys. Shipped to your door, 70 bucks if somebody wants an excellent perfect condition Kershaw Blur for 70 bucks. S30V version by the way, the higher end one. Made in USA, all that good stuff. You want one of that? If you want that, let me know. Another one, this is a knife I got to review, which will probably be up sometime this week. And I just don't really have much of a use for it. Uh, we have the Stackier Osis. This one is going pretty cheap, and I will explain why. They retail for 50 bucks. I'll sell it for 35. I'd probably even take 30 because, as other people have said in the review, it's very difficult to get that screw out. I got it out fine. Um, I thought I cleaned all the super ultra Loctite off it, but getting it back in was kind of a pain. And uh, it, the screw's a bit gummed up. It's not stripped, but there's definitely... it. That's the only part of the knife that looks used is that screw. So 35 bucks, shipped to your door anywhere. Pretty cool knife, actually. Runs on ball bearings, very smooth, D2. I got it because I'm a sucker for brown micarta. But I actually like it. The only thing that's kind of weird about it is they uh, bill it, you'll see in the review, they bill it as a heavy-duty knife, but it's got ball bearings. I think it would have been better if they just if it was cheaper and just ran on bushings. But pretty heavy-duty, beefy user knife. All right. Yeah, yeah. As Mr. Gearberry, I said earlier, you said you didn't get the notification. Check and make sure because uh, YouTube's been freaking out again, and it's dropped a lot of people's notifications. Birdshot was complaining about that also on something. Last on the for sale thing, and then we'll get to more fun stuff. God damn it, I did it again. Sorry about that, guys. We have a Stedman. What is it? This is the uh, D01 by ZKZ, ZKC 440 steel. This is a big sucker. This is what? Yeah, this is like a 4-inch blade. It's a big sucker. It's cool. Um, I, I like it. I like it well enough. Uh, I didn't really do a review on it. Uh... I probably should. Uh, this is one I bought a while ago when I was early in collecting, and just it just doesn't get used much. So these are sixty-five bucks. Um, I'll do. I think it says fifty down below. But I'll edit that. I'll, I'd take forty-five to your door for this. I just it, this is just something I just don't use. It's a cool knife, and it's in brand new, perfect condition. Comes with a box and all that stuff. I won't include the cat hair that was just on it, but um, yeah. So those are the for sale things. They're down below. If you guys want one, shoot me an email at slicydicey75 at gmail.com, and I will get those on out to you. Stuff we have coming up, uh, obviously, you know, the full review of this. Going to have this review tomorrow morning. Um, also, this week, I'm probably going to finally use the review I recorded a long time ago of this lovely ZT0452CF that was loaned to me so kindly by Mike. I'm probably going to finally do the review on that. This I recorded it a while ago, but I just haven't put it up yet. And uh, tomorrow, I may do an unboxing video also. Probably not, because I got the uh, that coming up in the morning. But uh, I am getting a Kaiser Zip Slip, which I'm very excited about. Very, very cool for them to uh, send that to me so quickly. I learned that if you call uh, Blade HQ when you order something... And you're very nice and charming and say, hey, can you guys please process that today? They do. And uh, yeah, I ordered it Friday morning, called them like an hour later. I said, hey, I just placed an order. I'm really kind of in a hurry to get it. Can you make sure it gets processed today? They put me on hold and he goes, it's in a box. It'll be out. And I got like the tracking notification like half an hour later and it's going to be here tomorrow. So that was very, very cool. Very, very thankful to uh, Blade HQ for that. And also I want to give a shout out to, because um, partly because they gave me this awesome huge sticker. Smoky Mountain Knife Works, that is where I got my 0609 from. They are pretty hard to get your hands on right now. Blade HQ's pre-orders are still backed up. Um, but uh, if you go to Smoky Mountain Knife Works right now, as of an hour ago, still available on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And I have to say, huge shout out to them. I ordered it. I said nothing. Didn't talk to anybody. Didn't email anybody. And I had it in three days. I ordered it like on uh, like uh, Wednesday morning, I think, and I had it on 
Saturday. So it was awesome. It's super fast shipping. Going to use them more often. And you get this giant sticker that unfortunately got kind of wrapped around, but it's a huge, huge, cool sticker. If it cuts, we carry it. I don't know why I say that in a Russian accent. It seems seems appropriate, but uh, you'd like to get one of those zip slips. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. I love slip joints because, as I've said a million times, I spend some time in Europe, and they and and this the this particular Kaiser was designed for the German market. So, yeah. Blade thickness to tip after the swedge. I haven't measured it that fully yet. The blade thick, the, the uh, at, behind the edge is very, very thin. But um, yeah, I have not measured it after that. But we'll hold it up here. I didn't do all the all the tiny little measurements on it yet. But yeah, I do like slip joints too. And this is a one-handed open slip joint. The Kaiser uh, zip slip that I ordered. I did get the titanium one. I've also got the notify me when the Vanguard one is available. But uh, if I like the titanium one enough, I, I won't get it. But yeah, is that like if we can bleed, we can kill it? Kind of, I think. I think, but I think it's less. It's less threatening than that. And they just said they want to cut some stuff. They didn't say anything about killing anything. Calm down, man. Yeah. Um. What else uh, did we want to talk about? Oh, I want to ask you guys. We're gonna start off the uh, just kind of Q and A thing. Um. I'm going to buy probably only one more knife before I go to Germany end of this month. Um, I want to get one more something. I don't know what. I want to know if you guys are so... Are, are you guys remotely interested in the Topps Mini Scandi? That's one that I've been really interested in. Not only because it's micarta, but uh, I do like Scandies. I do have another Scandi. I've got a... I actually have it here. I've got the... I need to get off my butt and review this too. Got the real steel folding Scandi thing. I can't remember what it's called. Bushmaster or something like that. Uh, pretty cool knife, but um, big and bulky and heavy. This is a little smaller. So, And Topps doesn't do folders very often. I think this is what they just started. So it's kind of cool just to just to see it. So um, is, the, is the 0609 easy to unlock? Yeah, it's not bad. Like I said, you do have to push past the, when you're folding it, you do have to push past that detent. It's pretty noticeable. But other than that. It's fine. It's it's getting much looser very, very quickly. It's still not completely fall shut, but it's pretty damn close. I think it will be. And then once I finally get the tool for it that is pre-ordered, uh, uh, once I get the tool for it, then uh, and I can take it apart and I can oil it up. I'm sure it's going to be very fall shut. Right now, it's just kind of close to completely fall shut. But I'm very happy with it so far. Like I said, I got a couple little tiny niggles, but you'll have to wait until I do the review on it. Just little tiny things. Overall, I still really like it. Uh, Boker Pipsqueak. I have not even seen that one. I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, Bart River Scandy. Do I have any Bokers? Yeah, I've got... Um, do I own any Bokers? No, I like a lot of them, but I just realized I don't have one right now. I had the Boker Carter Squared. That wasn't really my thing. Um... I'm going to scroll back. Bring back some German blades. I actually have a Boker waiting for me at a knife shop in Germany because it was way cheaper over here. But it's one that you can get here, so it's not anything like like exclusive or anything. Sorry if I erped there. I'm drinking beer. Um, but it's cheaper. I got one of the carbon fiber Excaliburs waiting for me at a shop over there. Um, all right, we're going to scroll back down now. The black background sucks. Well, geez, Fine. Um, I changed it up. I don't always use the black. Sometimes I use the, the blue, but uh, I changed them around. But thank you for your uh, constructive... Uh... Oh, it wasn't Boker. You're right. That was Ontario. I'm brain farting. You asked me to go live, I'm going to make mistakes. That's uh, that's how I go. Yeah, that was the Ontario Carter Squared. Yeah, I've had I've had a few Bokers come and go, but I don't, I don't think I currently own any. Isn't it bad when you lose track of what brands you own and what ones you don't? I'm fine. I can quit any time, I swear. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a review of the Mini Scandi. If you do, I'll probably buy one. I've got the budget to get one. I've been tempted by one. But what other questions do you guys have to get to? I'm done with everything I wanted, all the propaganda that I wanted to get out. Let's do the trivia question one more time again, if you're just joining us. Again, don't reply in the, um, in the comments, the live comments. Wait till the video is over. 
Uh, but the question is, go back and watch my 0609 unboxing video for the ZT. They put silly phrases on the box. I really didn't like the phrase that was on this box. What was that phrase that was on there? They're silly little marketing phrases. Uh, take a look at that. See which one I commented on. And uh, shoot me, uh, as again, reply in the comments after the video is over. And uh, don't put it in the thing. Gosh, people, I can't take you people anywhere. Don't put it in the live comments because then everybody sees it. And also, when I do the randomizer, I can't randomize the live chat comments. I can only randomize what's been over. So, all right, you're forgiven, Matt K. You apologize, and I'll and I'll take it. What what would Matt? Sh what would what should Baz say? But I think it's douchey, is what I call it. But I don't know what. Uh, do I have an 0450 to compare to the 0609? I had an 0450, and I sold it because uh, I did not. Uh, it didn't fit my hands well enough. It was just too small. I couldn't handle it. Uh, I liked it. It definitely flipped great. It, there was a lot of great things about it, but uh, ergonomically, it just didn't work for me, and I sold it. Where this one definitely works for me very well ergonomically, and it is much bigger than it. It's much, the blade is bigger than, I mean, you're looking at, where is it? Do I have one right here? I'm sure I have somewhere. I'm sure I got a PM2 somewhere close by. I mean, you're getting more blade than a PM2, and the handle works perfectly fine for my hands. Again, I have large size hands, large size glove hands, but uh, I do have pretty skinny fingers, I will say that, but um, yeah, it works great in my hand, and you're getting a pretty good, pretty good, or a pretty good blade size for that, so yeah. Is is the 045562 a good knife, or will it, I'm not going to whack somebody else's 0562. <laughs> well, nobody would loan me anything anymore. I think the tankiest feeling ZT ever I've heard was the 0350. Yeah, that thing is a brew. The 801 is not far behind, though. I had an 801 for a while. And, um, hey, Ray, are, have you missed the giveaway question? The giveaway question, I will say again, do not, you, you know better, you're a vet. Do not reply in the comments, live comments, wait till the video is over. Uh, but the question is, uh, when I unboxed the 0609, there was one of, ZT's trademark silly phrases on the box that I didn't like. What was that silly phrase on the box that I did not like? So I think they changed them up a bit, but I did, I did, it was kind of silly. All right. So uh, uh, Barlow's, you want to review me? Yeah, if you guys ever want to send me anything, loan me stuff, email me. Like I said, I set up the P.O. box just for that purpose. Um, I love you guys. I trust you guys, but I'm not going to get a wife and kids. I'm not going to give out my home address so uh, anymore. I've learned my lesson with that from my other business. So, uh, yeah, I've got a second P.O. box for this place. So um, if if you guys have ever won anything or you uh, or have bought anything from me, you'll see my home address because I ship it from my home address. But uh, other than that, it's not going to be so. Is the Sage 5 worth getting? Can you believe I have never, um, never played with the Sage 5? I am quite surprised by that myself. I've been... I've, like, had one in my cart a couple times and never got it, and now I'm so focused on reviewing stuff that's new and cool that that's kind of been out for a while. I, I, I probably won't ever have one. I'll get a Sage 6 or whatever. Am I enjoying the ZT? Indubitably. Yes. Very, very much. Very cool. Uh, do I like GEC Barlow's? Is that a question, Giovanna? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't mean to word it that way, but I'm sorry. I had to, uh, I had to, uh, I had to make that comment there. And, uh, yeah, you're more bummed by the crappy ZC box. It is flimsy as crap. Mine was half crushed when I got it. So, yeah. Yeah, and they don't put the cool little things in it, like spider coats. I hate spider coats boxes, too. Spider coats boxes are just as bad, if not worse. But at least they put some literature in there so you can sit and read about your knife as you love it. I'd like to have that little thing with the history. Like, this is an R.J. Martin design. It'd be cool if there was a little piece of paper to talk about R.J. Martin and his designs and the 0606 that that was the predecessor to this and all that stuff lots of stuff to talk about so tangram has the coolest boxes pro paintball psn guy says no they don't have cool boxes they have the coolest boxes they are awesome even have little like origami projects and stuff on them they are amazing and they're 30 like 30 40 bucks they're i don't know how they do it i don't know how they make those that awesome packaging for that price it is and the knives are still cool like it, i can't see where they uh steel will also great packaging I don't mind talking about, I love the packaging stuff, and everybody complains when I talk about the packaging in videos, but uh, that 
that matters to me. I think my favorite is Tangram. Real Steel is probably second. And Benchmade's also, somebody else knows Benchmade's isn't bad. Uh, least favorite by far are, uh, least favorite by far is ZT. Uh, second least favorite is Spiderco. At least Spiderco puts the effort to put the literature in there, but the boxes are complete crap. Who won an award for the packaging? Did a uh, Tangram win one for that? That would be cool. I didn't know there was an award for that. Oh, Kaiser's packaging is great too. Yeah, which is also owns Tangram, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, Hoag, Hoag's is pretty good. Um, yeah, congratulations for Tangram. They should win an award for that. I mean, I'm not a graphics designer, but I know a little bit about that stuff. And their their logos are great. Just there, it's amazing. Rake has great packaging. Yep. Yeah, there's a almost everybody does it better than the big U.S. guys, and I don't understand that. Yeah, Boker's isn't bad. Yeah, I accidentally tore a Boker box. I can't remember what it was I got. Oh, I know why I was confused. It was the Boker... Uh, I confused it with when I said the uh, Carter Squared. I got the Boker... Oh, I don't remember what it was. I didn't. I had it for such a short amount of time. Big, beefy Boker thing. Um, and uh, yeah, I almost tore the box in half getting it open because I'm stupid. Now I'm going to have to look it up because I'm me. But uh, Boker, I keep, it's not the Excalibur because I like that one. This was one I reviewed and didn't really care for that much. Looking on the beloved Blade HQ, please hold on. I won't see your comments for a moment because I'm trying to find, oh, I, the, the uh, Lateralist. That was the one I was thinking of. The Lateralist, I had that packaging and I, I kind of half almost tore it apart <laughs> opening it up. I just did it wrong, <laughs> but uh, I didn't know. Um... Yeah, the Strider Ziploc bag, yeah. Um, no, I haven't had an Urban Trapper. I've I've been tempted by those a few times, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to buy next, but... Um, yeah, Cold Steel's packaging. Yeah, it's just American companies, isn't it? Don't you guys think? What is up with the Americans not being able to make a good box? It's kind of weird. Hey, Kiefer. Good to see ya. Um... Uh, I'm going to get, I, I'm probably, I think you guys convinced me enough of you have asked, I'll probably get the mini Scandi in the next couple of days, especially if those knives I put up for sale sell. And it, I've gotten some emails as I've been talking to you. I don't want to look at them while we're live, but uh, it looks like I may have, may have sold uh, at least two of them. So that would be cool. Uh, I want to get the uh, mini Scandi and I'm probably going to buy one of these. You guys saw the review of this, the lucky one. Mr. Gear Bear, if you're still on here, I'm, I'm probably going to make you an offer tomorrow on this. I, I, I want I want one and I'm impatient so uh you're probably gonna say no and I won't be offended but I, I might I might be so I'm selling them here they're listed down below pro paintball I've got a uh, three up there just shoot me an email at slicey dicey 75 if that's what if you want one I, I went through them earlier here but uh yeah the tops mini scandy is the flipper is the one I'm thinking about getting uh into review I asked everybody if they wanted to see it and a lot of them said yes uh it it is definitely a knife that um pushes a lot of my buttons so uh because it's oh where we go it is my carta which i love and uh I, hopefully it will be what the stack gear osis didn't quite pull off for me so obviously it's a lot more expensive but um everybody received a matrix copy yet no i have not i uh i i I have it on pre-order. I have that and the bare knuckle on pre-order, both from Kershaw, and I am very excited to get the Copper Natrix, uh, just because I want to. Um, I, I just want it to look awful. Like I, I'm not going to do anything to maintain that. I mean, I'll maintain the bearings and stuff, but I want it to patina and just look cool. I think that's going to be an awesome, just sweet, cool-looking beater blade, don't you guys? I just think that's going to be really cool. D2 instead of the 8CR and. That cool copper is going to change with your hands. I have a weird thing, though. Like, people said this bronze might... It's bronze finished high, but still people said it might change with your hands. But uh, my hands don't sweat. I'm a freak that way. I don't know why I'm just born that way. My hands are always super dry. They don't sweat a bit. So uh, I hope the copper changes colors, but it might not that much in my hands because uh, I might as well be wearing gloves. I barely leave fingerprints on stuff. It's kind of weird. So, um, yeah. The you know, worst you can say is no. Yep, I'll I'll come with some cash in my pocket. How about that, Gear Bear? But <laughs> um, 
I'm excited to see you tomorrow, though. Mr. Gear Bear, by the way, is he's loaned me. He told me it's okay to tell you guys now, so please, everybody, in the comments here, since he's here, let's embarrass him. Thank him. If you have enjoyed my reviews of some high-end knives I've done the last couple of days, give him a big shout-out. He's loaned me the Escaton and the, um, the Glimpse and the Zeta, a whole bunch of stuff. Also, Mike Joseph, he's on here. He also loans me a ton of stuff. He's like become one of my best friends in the world and uh love we talk way too long on the phone enough that uh my wife gets annoyed about it <laughs> so, uh, yeah he's a uh, he's a uh, both of those guys this channel would not have gotten as far as it has without mr gear bear and mike joseph they've really helped me out with getting some stuff that i can't possibly afford so great yeah i'm very thankful to both of those guys they have been awesome and I need to do something very nice for both of them when their birthdays or Christmas come. But I, I'm not sure what yet, but I'll, I'll do something. They're, they're both very cool guys, and I'm very, very thankful to have gotten to know them both. And Mr. Gearbear has the coolest dog in the history of mankind. So that's, uh, that's, that's one advantage that Mr. Gearbear has, has over you, Mike, is his dog is awesome. He's got a giant black German Shepherd that is just the sweetest boy I've ever seen in my life. He is great. Uh, what kitchen knives do you like and own? Uh, right now I've got when uh, I just got married five years ago, so I got the. It's a pretty nice set, but it's just the Calphalon stuff. It's nothing fancy or anything. Um, but I am the cook of the house, so I am kind of into that. I do want to get. Um, uh, I almost bought from Santa for my wife and I, but really more for me. I almost got the Open L, uh kitchen knives. They just look cool, but I didn't. But uh, I probably will someday. Once these Calphalon ones run out. But they were wedding gifts, and they work, so I keep using them. And they sharpen up good. So now that I have a lot of sharpening stuff, they're easy to sharpen. Knife addicts need to stick together. Yes, and your dog does rock. He's super cool. Uh, Zeke, right? I do believe that was his name. I'll feel very bad if I don't remember his name after saying such good things about him. So, oh, This beer is really good. Again... I pointed out this is the Buffalo, New York, Big Ditch Brewing Company, Beautiful River, Belgian style Saison. And so I'm going to move my uh, opinion of Buffalo up one notch, which means it will be one notch above three, I guess. Not, not a Buffalo fan. But uh, yeah, ri city rivalry. Uh, you guys missed that earlier. I was talking crap about Buffalo. I live in Rochester, nearby city, so. Have you seen the GEC fixed blades? Uh, will you buy any? I am I'm not a uh, that much of a fixed blade guy. I know I'm going to have to get to be because I know I've been getting a lot of requests for them. And Mike Joseph on here has been bugging me about it. And uh, he's right. I need to start reviewing them. But uh, and he's offered to loan me some pretty cool ones. But uh, I'm just not I'm not much of a fixed blade guy. But I, I hiking season's almost here. I should probably get one. I know, I know, I know. But uh, I keep spending my money on folders, so. I haven't yet. Uh, let me just uh, uh, go back again one more time. There is a P.O. box down below now. That's something I added this past week. So if you guys, uh, some people want, like to loan stuff or whatever, and you want to send me silly notes or death threats or whatever, uh, that is down below. Uh, if you're sending me something that's in a, in a box or whatever, it is one of the small ones. So just uh, shoot me an email. Let me know that something's coming any you know sometime soon so that I can keep an eye on it or a tracking number or whatever, because um, it is not at my home. And we have a Facebook page now, uh, facebook.com slash SliceyDicey75. So uh, take a gander at that. That's just going to be mostly putting things out there. Uh, where did I pre-order the bare knuckle? Um, uh, oh, Knife Center. Yeah, I think both of my Kershaw ones are on Knife Center. So, yeah. Sell your Facebook stock. Uh, yeah. Drinking a Genesee cream ale from you. I, I had Jenny last week. That's I didn't have any. I had a Jenny Bach last week, so... Yeah, Zeke is the canine. Yeah. Oh, I know he's an expensive dog. You told me you'd spend a lot of money keeping him alive, but uh, he's worth it. He's awesome. <laughs> death threats was a joke. I don't want death threats. I have gotten death threats before from my uh, other website. You'd be surprised how, ma how mad bicycle people can get. It's quite shocking. Actually, just... Uh, actually just got one like three weeks ago. Yeah, it's not nothing to worry about. It's the internet you're going to get. It's so stupid to say... It, it's the internet. You're going to get death threats. That's just how it goes. 
Uh, yeah, death threats. I had an editor that worked at a the old newspaper that I worked at. He was Satan incarnate. I hated that man. But uh, one of the only good things he ever said to me is he said, uh, if half your readers don't hate you, you're not doing it right. Which I don't think, I think half is a bit much. But yeah, if people aren't mad, then you're not doing it right. So yeah. Yeah, Zeke was doing really well when I was there a couple weeks ago. He's he's awesome. Um, oh, it's supposed to be released in April for the Bare Knuckle? That's cool. I know the Copper one is, the, I think the last I heard was like June or something like that. So yeah. <laughs> Cream Ale in Rochester is known as a cure for constipation and a sure hangover. It is, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll make whatever's going to happen, it'll make it happen. That's the way I always describe it. Whatever's coming, it'll, it will speed it up either way. But, uh, the Jenny Bach is, is great. If, if one more person says dilly dilly, I swear to God, I'm going to come over there and burn their house down. I don't even know what that is. I don't watch regular television. I cut the cord i'm like all streaming services i don't even know what it is i know it's got something to do with crappy beer that's all i know no one needs to explain it to me i'm not asking for an explanation i know it was something to do with the super bowl and bud light or something but yeah whatever oh i still watch a lot of tv don't get me wrong rmfn i just watch it at my leisure when i want to watch it so yeah i'm just the hulu all that stuff all those things i do have a couple live channels um I was watching CBS early earlier from uh yeah I was watching uh, a certain um uh no I don't watch I don't don't like don't like college basketball much but I I did I was waiting for the college basketball game to end so I could watch a certain lady on 60 minutes and I only got to catch half of it before I came on here but uh yeah that I did like to watch it. Yes, I did get the uh I did order the Perpetua. It's not it's not supposed to ship till end of July the Millet Master Op one. I did get on that. So um and uh, I've got the Ferrum Forge Gent, which is supposed to be here April 30th, which is when I am in Europe. So uh, I hope it's either late, a few days late, or a couple weeks early so I get it before I go. I'm guessing a week or two late is probably more more likely. I looked at the Ferrum Forge Buck paintball, but uh, it wasn't, it's not, that blade shape is not my thing. I, I wasn't, I wasn't into that. It was just a bit kind of... Uh, over the top for me, I guess. I don't think it's something that I would I would carry and use. Um, and it's weird reviewing Ferrum for buying stuff to review from Mass Drop because by the time you get it to review it, it's gone. So once the next drop comes out, people will watch that video. But in the meantime, it's like, oh, it's gone. I can't get it. And it's it's kind of weird. <clears throat> like I reviewed the Crux and great knife, but I didn't get many views on it because it's you can't buy it at the time that I reviewed it. So uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a while that will arrive the same. Yeah, I'm really excited about the Millet Perpetua, though. Of all the stuff that I've got pre-ordered for this whole... I've basically got the whole year planned out as far as my knife budget, unless some more money comes in. That's the one I think I'm the most excited about. Even more so than... I'm really excited about the Spider-Co Amalgam, but uh, I think I'm more excited about the uh, the Perpetua. It just looks really, really cool. Uh... uh have you seen Ganz? I've seen, yeah, I've seen Ganzos. Uh, if you want to know why I don't review them, just go back and look at my previous reviews. There's a review, or there's a little rant about uh, cloners and stuff like that. You can find it's not hard to find on there why you don't see Ganzos on this channel. Um, I've ordered from Mass Drop quite a bit. Uh, I got the. Uh, I have one arriving tomorrow. Actually, I got a. Um, Cold Steel Recon 1 for, it was like 55 bucks. It was super cheap, and I, I got that. That's supposed to arrive tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I like the the, the whole mass drop thing with Fair and Forge is pretty, pretty cool. And the millet is going to be, yeah, that Crux is great. Uh, Elder Chung, the Crux is great. The the Pocket Pecker kind of annoys me a bit. But um, other than that, I, I did really, really like it. So it's too early for beer. You're awake and typing. You're from Australia. You're supposed to, like, wake up with a beer in your hand. You're second only to my people. You're only second only to the Irish. But yeah, the crux is really, really cool. I really did like it. Um, any any other questions? You want to order the gent? You, yeah. I had cut myself off on knives for a bit too, and then I still ordered a gent. And that is, I don't know if he's still on here. He was earlier. I blame my gent order on Stasa23. I was on the phone with him talking about the podcast, which, by the way, got to bring up the podcast again. I forgot all about that. 
uh, to bring that up at the beginning. We are recording it Tuesday night. So the Slicey Dicey podcast with myself and Zelric and Stasa23. We're recording it Tuesday night. I hope to have it out by the end of the week. And uh, you will have a little, probably, you know, hour or so little podcast with the three of us chatting about knives. So it'll be on your your iTunes and all that stuff. And uh, there is a YouTube channel, Slicey Dicey Podcast, uh, that is going to have it up. But it's just going to be a static image and us talking over it. It's not going to be like a video video. Um, so, uh, yeah, check that out. We'll have it coming up, hopefully... Thursday, Friday-ish. I, I used to edit podcasts all the time. I haven't done it in a while. It depends on how long it takes me to remember how to do that. But we're recording it Tuesday night. So uh, very excited about that. We've got a format all laid out and everything. It's going to be a lot of fun. GEC 70. Oh, the uh, oh, I'm going to talk to... Let's put Mr. Gearbear on the spot if he's still on here. I hope he is. Uh, yes, I do have a GEC 78 he loaned me. Um, I'm not sure if I'm coin I, i'm oh, i'm not i'm not going to review it because it, it does have some more modern things to it and i was kind of not exactly impressed about it and it's a limited edition one so if i'm gonna borrow something from him from gec that's more like available and doesn't have you know my carta and this brush stuff on it that's a more more representative of gec's products i think if open it and close it okay fine I, i'll dance for you like your monkey yeah, I, I do love the action on it. I do like the opening and stuff, but it's, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, there. I wasn't as impressed with it as I expected to be, and I don't want my first GEC review, because everybody keeps saying, you have to review a GEC, and I feel pressure, and I want it to be something I really like. I don't want it to be something that I'm meh about, so, uh, yeah, or something that I really hate, one or the other. I want it to be interesting, and this one I was kind of like, meh, this is the GP Knives exclusive one, I think, so, um. Yeah. This is pretty springy. I had to really squeeze on it, so... Yeah. Alright, yeah. I'll try something else. I've been on that modern traditional kick, too. And and the and I don't have any... This... This, oh, this is... You should be so jealous of Mr. Gear Bear, because this is his knife. And this is just, like, the prettiest, prettiest, pretty thing in the history of pretty things ever. It is so nice. So, so, so nice. Um... No, an arm fin has nothing to do with the pivot on the GEC. It's just uh, there was other stuff that just, you know, kind of the, the feel of it and the fit and finish of it just didn't blow me away. So, uh, But I think that's the materials that um, GP Knives chose for their exclusive. I don't think it's GEC's fault or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the 43Z will make me wet. Uh, what camera am I using? This is just an iPhone 7 Plus. It's not even the new one. Yeah. I know some people couldn't get can't get excited about traditionals. Like I said, I got into them because uh, I sometimes travel to places that I have to have uh, non-locking knives, and I got into the modern traditionals, and I really like them. And the more I got into them, the just more I kept buying them, and uh, that's kind of how I got into it. It was to fill a hole, and then I like it. Did I get a Skaha? No, I did not. Really wish I did, but I didn't. No. Uh, I really want a Skaha. If any of you guys get a Skaha and you want to loan me one to review, I would be eternally forever grateful. But uh, <laughs> but I, they're about as rare as... What is, what's that old-timey phrase? Rarer than hen's teeth. So, uh, yeah. And who knows? They, they sold out. I guess they came out again, sold out immediately again, and now you can't order one. So uh, they don't even let you pre-order one. They're just like, no, it, we can't do it right now. Poor fellas. But it does look like an amazing... It looks like a knife. Just like much like how I talk about the uh, Master Op Perpetua, it looks like something that's designed for me. You know, I like the kind of... Kind of... Uh, I like things that are semi-plain and purposeful. This is not that plain, but it's somewhat plain for a ZT, which ain't saying a whole lot. But... uh I like knives that, like, what's something... Yeah, like this, you know, I like knives that are just designed like this that just look purposeful and plain, you know, and and they don't. I don't want them to look ugly, I don't want them to look super boring, but I just want it to look like a knife that's meant to do some stuff, and I, the Skaha really just... really strikes a lot of fancies for me, so... Yeah, I sign up for the waiting list. I don't... I, I'm not ever uh, expecting to get one anytime soon, so... All right, any more questions before we wrap it up here? I try to keep these about an hour. So, yeah, function over form is what I prefer. 
Oh, you got one of the last of the version ones? Yeah. I know that was uh, Nick Shabazz's fault, so. When he posted that. Yeah, I heard their website crashed. I heard that from some people when you, you try to get on there. I think I actually got an email about that because I was on the waiting list thing. Oh, I'm awesome. Thank you so much. You make me blush. Actually, I'm blushing because it's hot as hell in this office up here. I have an attic office, and I have the door closed, and there's no heat vent in here, but all the heat is rising, and holy crap, it's hot in here. I don't want to point the fan at myself because it'll make the microphone make weird noises. But is there anything else going through here that I missed? Uh, again, uh, if you didn't get the notification for this, please make sure you subscribe and get a notification. YouTube's been goofy, and... Uh, I think uh, we lost some people on that, so, um, and I think maybe I just locked up. There we go. Nope, thought we locked up for a moment there. Sorry about that. Uh, what was I carrying the most before I got the new ZT? Well, uh, my Sabenza, probably. I've gotten back into the Sabenza again. I've been carrying this a whole lot, so. Uh, I said attic. I said attic, I think. Attic office. If I said attic office, that was a Freudian slip. But yeah, mostly my Sabenzas. I got back. I tore the Sabenza apart last week and really like took the grease out and put um, some heavyweight nano oil in it. And I'm just, I'm loving this thing again. Sex Benza. I don't even know what that means. It may be illegal in my state, according to Amazon. You got to go back and watch the beginning to get that reference. But uh, yeah, Amazon thinks things are illegal that are not illegal. You're addicted to offices. I love my office. It's a giant mess, but I know where everything's at. And it's got all my little man toys in it and stuff. So, yes, it is the large Sabenza. I have handled the small Sabenza. Uh, don't care for it. It's just a little too small for me. The large one is definitely much better. Uh, if I if I ever did sell my Sabenza, it would just be getting in Kosi. But I have not held it in Kosi yet. But a lot of things. You don't understand the Sabenza love. It's... I know it's cliche, but you got to have one for a while. I really loved it the first couple days I had it. After a little ways, after a couple days, I didn't care for it much. And then after about a week or so, I just really, really love it. It's just so damn simple and you can do anything with it. And it's so well built. I just really, really like it. No Shiro's. No, I can't afford them. I would love to have a Shiro Gorov to review, but I can't afford one. So, uh, yeah, they're so expensive. But sorry to be an adult. Well, Dave, we will do the we will do the um the trivia question one more time here. The trivia question is in my unboxing video of this we 0609, what what was the phrase on the box that I was annoyed by? Do not reply in the live comments. Wait till the video is over and reply down below. If you reply in the live comments, A, you give it away to everybody else, and B, it makes it really hard for me to select your uh, random comment. So uh, reply down below. The Sabenza is the Volvo of the knife world. You know what? As a fan of car analogies, I cannot disagree with that at all. I was going to say the Mercedes, but Mercedes does make some exciting stuff. So yeah, no, you're right. That's dead on. It is the golf golf clap to Tony Kenny. I'm guessing how to say it, but uh, yeah. That was a, that's very good. That's a very good analogy. It is the Volvo of the knife world. I'm going to steal that. You said it on my channel, so it's my intellectual property right now. I'm declaring it. This is really good beer. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? You can ask me about anything. It doesn't have to be purely knife stuff. I've, I've talked about my life a little bit on here. I don't mind other stuff coming up, so, uh. All yours brain. Nice misspelling, Tony. Now I, I take away my clap. I take away my claps. No, I'm just kidding. It's Brian. It's actually Brian with a Y, but I don't spell it out, so I don't expect anybody to know that. And if you try, try to type Brian with an I, it always does autocorrect it to brain. Um, someone just wrote Porsche spelled wrong. What does that? What does that mean, Jay? Uh, what would Sheergraf be? Uh, Porsche? I think they'd be more like uh, they're. Um, no, because Porsches aren't super overly priced. I would say they're more like Lamborghini. I think they're more like Lamborghini. Because Porsches, if you don't start buying options, are fairly reasonably priced for what you get. Or maybe, uh, Pagani, if you want to go really obscure. Yeah, I would say Chirigorov will be the Pagani of the knife world. 
I would say the the Porsche would be. Uh, I'd say that Porsche would actually. I would actually call uh, Porsche. I would say they are like the Spider Co or the ZT of the knife world. I had a brain until I had beer. Yeah, sure. Koenigsegg. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, sure. Golf is pretty equal to Koenigsegg. I can do car analogies all day long. I would say, um, what's what's one nice guy here around here? Um, GEC would be like the uh, what's one of those? Uh, ZT would be like Morgan, I think. Strider is Hummer. There's no no doubt about that. Strider is Hummer, which is out of production, but still. Strider is Hummer, absolutely. What's the most ergonomically correct knife you've seen so far? For my particular hands, it's uh, some form of, of Manix 2. I've got the Manix 2 backlock here. Uh, yeah, Manix 2 is is definitely ergonomically for my hands perfect uh not just the back lock pretty much all of them the xl is great the lightweight is great just something about that this general shape i really like um gec is gmc well yeah except for that you can buy gmc's gmc's don't sell out in five minutes <laughs> but that's why i said morgan because it's classic and they, they're really hard to get um You knew you knew I was gonna say that the, about the Manix Two. Yeah, I love the Manix Two. Just fits my hands so good. I mean, the the Spider Co isn't the, or the uh, Spider Co. The Paramilitary Two isn't far behind, but yeah, Oz Ozark Trail is a custom Walmart. Yeah, they're I've never even touched any of their stuff. I don't go to Walmart's. I it's I, they give me panic attacks. I don't know why. I freak out in a Walmart. If you ever want to drive me insane, take me to a Walmart and force me to go inside, and I will lose my crap within. 15 seconds so long fingers are tough in the knife world look at the look at the these things they're skinny but they're so long that's what she said bench made is land rover yes I, I would say range rover but you're very close yeah bench bench made is the range rover of the knife world I, I i cannot disagree with that rake and real steel are the toyota no i would say that rake and real steel are god i wanted to say hyundai but yeah, no, they're Hyundai because they people still look down on them, but they're great. And um, what knife? What knife would a Prius be? Um, uh, it would be a butter knife, is what I would say. <laughs> so, yeah, I I actually had to drive a Prius for three weeks. Um, my uh, my wife hit a uh. uh raccoon on christmas eve a couple years ago did four thousand dollars worth of damage to the car because raccoons are solidly built in our golf and they gave us a prius um it is an interesting transportation appliance but it is not a car can't stand the prius it was just i hated that thing it was just the most boring ridiculous stupid thing and i got out of it twice and it was running and i didn't know i, I just i can't stand it there's no mechanical anything. Everything, like even the shifter is just like a gear, like a video game switch. There's no like chunk or anything like that. Ugh, it's awful. I, I drove a Leaf once. I didn't mind that. I didn't. I don't mind the full electric cars. At least they're torquey and fun. The, there's also Z Hunter is any Dodge. I would say that a Z Hunter is like, uh, what's, is Mitsubishi still in business in the U.S.? If they are, yeah. If, if Suzuki was still in business, I'd say Suzuki. Having owned two of them, they were pieces of crap. But uh, no, a, a Prius isn't a Kershaw Skyline. That's that's way too nice to say to a Prius. Yeah, you have an Altima Hybrid. That's probably much nicer than a Prius is. So, yeah, Z Hunter is Saturn. Hey, I owned a Saturn and I loved that thing. My Saturn was great. I loved that car. Uh, it was my first brand new car, actually. And um, I drove it for several years and then uh, sold it. And the guy, within three days, uh, totaled it. So, goodbye. Z Hunter is huffy. Yeah. <laughs> yep, definitely. They're pieces of crap. What's the crappiest car you can buy? Yeah, Mitsubishi's still in business. They have that. I think Z Hunter is Mitsubishi because they have that little tiny, what's that stupid little thing that Mitsubishi makes? I can't remember what it's called. 
You're buying a new Ford Focus on Tuesday? I, I will say I drove a Focus and I didn't like one particular thing about it. Just know that you're going to think your transmission's broken, but it isn't. It's got a uh, um, dry clutch and they feel weird. But other than other than that, it was fine. And then uh, I rent that. They actually gave me that before the Prius, and then I broke it because I was. It's a rental car, and I was being an asshole, and I broke the transmission on it, and I took it back, and uh, limped it back to them, and said it was broken, and they gave me the Prius. So I guess that was my comeuppance for breaking a rental car. Was my punishment was here's a Prius. The Focus is nice though. Nissan Rogue. Yeah, my buddy just got a Rogue, and man, that thing is cool. I, I rode in the back of it the other day, and I was like, holy crap, there's so much room in this thing. Yeah, the SVT Focus is nice. I don't have any fun cars. I mean, I have, my, I have an 84 Honda CRX. That's mildly fun, but it's off the road right now because it needs some major structural work underneath that I'm not sure I'm going to do. But uh, I have a 2014 Golf and a 2009 Subaru Outback. So uh, neither particularly exciting. The Golf's kind of fun, but... Uh, not really. At least it's got paddle shifters and stuff, but Oh, I forgot I forgot you had that twenty one model T. I was over at your car and I or over at your house and I never looked at your car. We have to we have to take care of that, so uh Yeah. And from a nineteen ninety eight Silverado to a focus. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a huge thing. The golf sucks. No, the golf is fun. I like the golf. It's a good car. I like the Golf. It has a million little electronic problems in it right now because the battery died, and, and it's unhappy about that. I'm going to take it to the dealer and get some codes cleared. But but I like it. It's fun. I have the 2.5 liter uh, five-cylinder that they don't make anymore, and uh, that was pretty cool. I, I do like it. It's got you know manual option. It's a automatic, but you can manually shift it, and it's, it's fun for a... Uh, your 19... Oh, Saturn, your SC2 got s- stolen this trip three years ago. Ugh. Any crossover bike content coming? No, I don't think there's much crossover between recumbent bicycles and knives. So <laughs> I don't think there's going to be any crossover coming. And um, I have some very strict rules on my website because my website is primarily a message board. And um, I do reviews there too, but uh, a lot of the traffic's message board. And I have some very, um, yeah, the Mirage, that thing's a piece of shit. But uh, I have some very strict rules about anything remotely related to violence being posted on the board because i have to monitor it and um it's gotten ridiculous uh, usually involving dogs so i'm not uh not doing uh not gonna even i don't even tell my bike readers that i even have this channel if they find it fine but i review recumbent bikes not mountain or road i used to be a semi-pro mountain bike racer but uh, i retired and now i review recumbent bikes so uh, yeah, the ones you kind of lay down with your feet sticking out in front of you, the weird things. Most of them are three-wheelers now. Um, but uh, we're linking your website to Forge Hand. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. You're a good friend. You're a good friend. You know, I I don't even know what the hell Forge Hand exactly is. I kind of know that it's 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 bad, but that's it. Do I wear tights? I actually do wear um a lot of uh more racy bike clothes just because um uh I used to race so uh yeah I usually do because I'm used to it but uh, um a lot of recumbent people don't though you don't have to that's one of the advantages of those so I don't even know what you guys are talking about on this 4chan thing I'm so old I've never felt so old in my life I don't even know what it is but I have to approve all the people that sign up on my site, so I ain't scared. Did I hear you say it's some sort of comedian? Yeah, I'm a comedian. That's um, my kind of second job. Um, yeah, I'm a stand-up comic. I uh, don't. It's I don't do it as much as I used to, but uh, yeah, I get like you know three, four, yeah, maybe two or three paid gigs a month, and yeah, it's fun. Go to mics and stuff. I've been doing it for about nine years. Um. This thing kind of took off. It's taken some of the time of that, but uh, I actually did just get a monthly gig today, so I'll be doing that. Um, I mean, it's ages is a fine wine. Do I shave my legs for use a cycling thing? No, I don't. Um, how do you carry a pocket knife and wear bike shorts? Yeah, don't. You put it in uh, one of the bags or something like that, but I do always still have something on me. So, Yeah, Bill Burr's great. He's, he's cool. I have not met him yet, but uh, he's on my bucket list. I've opened for most of my comedy heroes, but Bill Burr is one that I have not gotten to meet yet. So, um, 
if you guys want to see me do semi comedy things you can go to uh here i'll type it in i'll type in the name of it so you guys can go see it but this is a if you guys like comedy at all that is a um carlsoncast.com is a podcast we do where we interview all the comedians that come through our local comedy club and um we have a, I'm the little co-host on there. I play a bit of a role on that. I'm kind of the uh, the sidekicky stooge guy, which uh, is fun to do. And uh, but you know, I I'm like the the second host of it, but it's a lot of fun. We get everybody. Nikki Glazer, we had she was awesome. It's really cool. I see Joe Rogan, yeah, I'm the Mass Drop Prism. I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> Comedians are the smartest people in the world. You should meet some of my friends, mate. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I'm going to look for this Mass Drop Prism while we were talking. Oh, Mad Drop is not a thing. Alrighty. Oh, I did see this. I think now it's loading. This is great. This is great television, guys. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a, bit, it's a bit crazy for me, and it's inactive right now anyway, so... Yeah. O three on O three nine three or the prism. I would say neither. The O three nine three does not appeal to me either. It's just uh, I don't know. It's just too much going on there. I like stuff to be a bit more simple. I would if somebody wants to loan me one to review one, I'd absolutely do it. But uh, the uh, it's not anything I'd want to own. I'm a, I'm a simple plain man. I like my I'm like the like a Quaker. When it comes to my taste in knives, this is definitely the craziest looking thing that I own, which uh, ain't saying much because this is not that crazy. It's just pretty, you know. But yeah, the, the drop did end on that on the that Tashi Brucha Prism, Tashi Brucha Prism. It's fun to say though, in a mildly racist accent. Please, you know, I, I get a, I'm gonna get a commission on all this 0609s. No, I'm, I don't, but um, I will change some stuff up. We're gonna end here fairly soon, but I've still got, I still like 30 on here, so I'll bore you for a bit more. Oh, here's something else you guys always like to see. My fancy pants, uh, PM2, and let's just put something ridiculous on here. No, can't do that because I'm not sure i'm legally allowed to even own that so put the uh 452 up there um i uh i hope you guys have enjoyed this i always like hanging out with you guys it's so much fun you need another pm2 everyone needs another pm2 you always need at least one more i i really want the carbon um one with the nope oh, gosh damn it i did it again with the um s 90 whatever where's the z hunter oh i have it let me pull it out here. I got it. If if I thought it was remotely safe, I would give it away to somebody. But I don't want to send it to somebody and have them get hurt with it. So I have a better Z Hunter than Nick Shabazz's, by the way. I have the $9 Z Hunter instead of the, the crappy $5 Z Hunters that he gets. This is actually the premium one. It's so disgusting. Yeah, the 452 is growing on me also. I, uh, Mike Joseph, who's on here, loaned it to me, and I said I didn't like it. It's too big, too crazy for me. So, um, yeah. Yes, I did swear once. I think I can get away with it on a live video. I just try not to make a habit of it because YouTube gets upset about demonet and demonetize demonetizes stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I try not to swear. In my daily life, I swear like a parrot. So, uh. But I try not to on the YouTubes. I don't want things to get deemed adult content. So, uh, yeah, the 452 is growing on me. I've carried it a few days, and um, and it's growing on me. Yes, I did buy a Z Hunter. I bought it for, uh, I did, this past Thanksgiving when the channel was still pretty brand new, I did Turkey Day Turkeys, and I bought three really terrible knives from uh, my local smoke shop. That <laughs> They had a knife case there. I'm a filthy vapor. Use one of these stupid things. And um, I went there to go get e-juice, and they had some crazy stuff. And I bought, um, I gave one of them away. I had this rainbow-colored one I gave away to somebody on uh, one of my live videos. And then I got a Z-Hunter and this ridiculous piece of crap. But they're still here. This one, oh, it locked up this time. That's rare. Usually this one doesn't even lock up. 
So, all right, I think I've uh, bored you guys enough. Seems like a lot of you guys are going to bed, and uh, I have the mother of all internet connections, but I still make my wife not, um, not watch TV when I'm here. Oh, I missed one. Somebody said, what's my holy grail knife? That's one I'd have to think about. Um, right now, I mean, it changes all the time. Right now, I would say it would be a a glimpse, but a a real custom one. I think if I could afford anything right now, it'd be a Todd Begg glimpse, but a real actual one of his full customs. I just really like this. It's ridiculous and stupid, but um, for its it's just big. But uh, I really like it, and I think it's more EDC able than people say. And I'd like to have a real one. So, I think that's that's my grail knife right now is a real Todd Beg, but uh, you know that may change tomorrow morning when I see something else. But right now, I I really want a Todd Beg. I really want this, but I got I got this instead. Which, yeah, that's how Brian's brain works. He went from I gotta have one of these. I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff and buy one of these to I bought that. It's totally different, <laughs> but uh, yeah. That's that's how that's how Brian's brain works. But uh, I really am very happy with this 0609. It's it it got that I wanted that nice smooth flippy thing. And I wanted to get that out of my head and and um, yeah, very much love the 0609. You're gonna see this on the channel a whole lot. I'm gonna be using the hell out of this. Um, it's definitely gonna go in the long term fleet. Very cool. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. We're at like an hour and eleven minutes now, so. I think it's about time to uh, wrap up. We'll end just one more repeat of the trivia question. If you go back to my 0609 unboxing video of this very cool knife, what was the phrase that was on the ZT box that annoyed me? Look that up. So, all right. Hope you guys have had a good one. I've really enjoyed this. This has probably been my favorite one so far. We had a good flow going. There wasn't a lot of long pauses or anything. Good job, everybody. Good job. And again... Thank you so much to Weeha. Thank you to Mr. Gear Bear and Mike Joseph, who loan me a lot of stuff. They are my patron saints. And uh, again, please look at my P.O. box down below. If you guys want to send me something to loan to loan to me, I only need it for a couple days. I'll send it right back. And uh, the P.O. box address down below. Just if you send me something, just let me know ahead of time so I know that it's coming. All right. Hope you guys have had a good one. Talk to you later.